Welcome to KompaKeyboardSchool.com. Now, our very first and most important lesson is key. How do you find the key of a song that is being played or sung? You cannot play the keyboard period to anything unless you know what key you're playing in. Now, if you're new to Compa, uh, and if you're new to even the keyboard, this lesson is the most basic lesson, but you need to know this before you can go any further. Because if you're playing in the wrong key, you will never learn the piano period. Now that we got that out of the way, how do you find the key of a song? One of the rules that I can give you when finding a key of a song, there's different techniques. The song always ends in the key that it's being played in. So it always ends in the chord that the key is being played in. Also, sometimes the song begins with a note that is a part of the chord of the key that the song is being played in. But I'm going to break that down for you guys by example so you can practice it for yourselves and get better at identifying what key a song is being played in. You must know this technique before you can do anything, before you can play compa. So let's let's play a song, a classic song like like Anita by System Ben. Let's go ahead and, and play that song. So you hear the song. What key is that song being played in? Is it C? Is it A? Is it F? G? G flat or F sharp? Now what do I do when I'm listening to a song like this? That sounds like the key. That note sounds like it goes with most of the song. That note sounds like the key of the song. So the note is B flat. You guys heard it? How do I know it's in the key of B? When I listened to the song, I heard Anita. Then I heard Anita. Seemed like it seems like they're ending the melody on this. So Anita. Sounds like this, which is the fifth note of this B flat. So if you listen to the song, the note that they land on, the note that they end with, is the key of the song. Most of the time, you won't be able to figure out the key from the beginning of the song. It takes time and practice before you can do that. Because normally the song begins on a note of the chord of the of the of the key you're in. For example, if you're playing in key of B flat, what what note does that song begin with? It starts with the B flat chord, which is B flat, D and F. So it's always going to be a note of your first chord. So that's another signifier to let you know that you're playing in the key of B flat. So rule number one, listen to what note they land on in the song. And rule number two, if you if you can't figure it out that way, listen to the beginning of the song and identify which note is being played, and usually it's the chord that corresponds to it. 
So let's practice with another song. This song is called Libre Damu. Libre de Damer. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you guys know Jakut performs this song. L listen to it and we'll figure out the key. So you hear me humming. So I'm trying to find a note in my head by humming. What note is coming? That note sounds like it's calming throughout the song. And what was the second tip? Let's listen to what they land on. Listen to what they land on at the end of this verse. You hear the same note. The same note my brain automatically recognized is the same note that they land on in the first verse. Again, I'm going to repeat that. The same note that they landed on in the first verse is the same note that I was humming in my head that my brain automatically recognized. So over time, you, your brain will recognize. Basically, it'll basically fill in the gaps of what note they're going to land on. But right now, we heard... Dun. Which is D. So we're going to do one more example. We're going to pick one more compa song to figure out the key. This song is Clique Suli by Class Musique. Clique Suli by Class Musique. We're going to figure out what key this song is in. So this song is Clique Suli by Class. You heard that landing? Du -du 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 -du. But let's hear what he where he lands. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, you heard that? Whoa. That's your one. That's the note you have to find. Whoa. So it's in C. Oh. And if you keep clicking C, you hear that most of the song goes with that note. If you keep keep clicking C. Oh. Same note. Let's listen to what note he, he lands on to end his verse here. Oh. Hey, hey. Still C. So this is the common note of the song. He keeps landing on C to end his verses. So this is your key. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So I gave you three examples on how to find a key. The rule is what note does the verse land on at the end? And if and then the more you do that, you'll start to understand and recognize what key you must play in. So that's lesson one on how to find a key. Why is it important to find the key? In the beginning of my play, piano playing, I was embarrassed. I used to play in the wrong key and get kicked off the piano. It was an embarrassment. Um, I, I started off in church. At one point, the pastor had to kick me off and find the key himself. Guys, you do not need to be embarrassed in public. Uh, so find the key, learn how to find the key, and that will give you a foundation to play anything by ear. That's lesson number one, how to find the key of the song that you're playing in.